Hello everybody, I'm FHRC Brony, and this is going to be an important video, or even just a serious video, but um, you guys do not want to see me yapping in front of a camera, so here you guys see a video of me driving a Ford GT around Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia in Forza Motorsport 7. Anyways, I mean, normally I don't do serious videos, but uh, once in a while I do. And this is going to be a one serious video because um, this has to deal with the California government. Ooh, scary! Uh, but, uh, um, it's, this has to deal with the car. I mean, normally the government does not do anything with the car than EPA and emissions and stuff like that, you know, um, basic stuff. Um, but uh, this one actually kind of took it a little bit too far. Um, uh, and the car community is actually hating on this. Um, especially California uh, uh, car communities. And um, believe me, California does have a, a, a wide uh, range of car communities. Like, and, I mean, I, I've been to car meets in California and they're really, really cool. And um, But this whole... If you guys have been seeing the whole new um, uh, California law that they just passed for earlier this year, um, the car community is like all ranting and raving about this and, and stuff like that. I've seen videos on YouTube and um, posts on Facebook uh, regarding this uh, matter. Even Jalopnik is uh, talking about this as well. Um, so, uh, first of all, I have the... I have the California government's website here, the California Bureau of Automotive Repair, right in front of my computer screen. I will have the link in the description below this video so you guys can take a look at it. But basically what they're saying here is, is if your muffler or your exhaust note is too high, too loud, then you have to pay a fine and go have to see some guy uh, from the state. Um, and I'm not talking about some dude from the state. Uh, but basically, um, normally when, when especially the car communities, when they when they see something that's bad or something that's not good, uh, w even when it comes to the government, they usually like to rant and rave about their side of the uh, of the argument rather than not talking about the other side of the argument. So I'm gonna do my very best on um, putting that into perspective because I as as a human being, I do want to hear why one side is doing this, but the other side disagrees on this. Because everybody has opinions, okay? And everybody has their, you know, their own personal viewing, uh, viewpoints. And that's like what the car community is going through right now. But anyways, um, I'll read the first paragraph on this uh, Bureau of Automotive Repair from California. And, um... They're saying that California law requires that all vehicles must be equipped with an adequate muffler to prevent excessive noise from the exhaust system. It also prohibits the operation of a vehicle, uh, in parentheses, other than a motorcycle or truck with a gross vehicle weight rating of less than 6,000 pounds that has an excessive noise level greater than 95 decibels when tested under specified conditions. What they're trying to say here is... Um, that the law requires that all that all the cars that are be that are be driven on the streets or on the freeways or whatever on public roads in California where I live, uh, they require that all cars must have a muffler that that has no um, engine note lo uh, engine note lo noise level greater than 95 decibels, and if it exceeds 95 decibels, you are um, issued a citation. And normally, before this law uh, was passed, they uh, you just had to pay a fine, okay? And then you just got to pay money and stuff like that. Um, but now, not only you just have to pay a fine, you have to go see a state referee. And uh, the state referee is uh, the living hell of, of, uh, of automotive. And that's like the living Satan of automotive. <laughs> and you do not want to go through that dude at all, especially with experience from other people who actually went through this. Um, basically, what the state ref is doing is they're I inspecting your your car or your truck or whatever um, to see if there's any sort of modification that's not factory specific in your car. In in and, and um, I for some 
I've seen a video uh, regarding this as well. They say if they also like have the um, full power to actually destroy your car, meaning not just destroy. I'm talking about like crush your car. And so yeah, that beautiful Hellcat that you just bought, or your beautiful Ferrari with a straight pipe, will go bye bye. So that's basically what they're trying to say here. Um, there's a lot more. Um, um, stuff to talk about here on the website, but I want you guys to take a look at yourself. Like I said, I will have the link in the description below so you guys can take a look at it yourself. But basically, now let's put it here in the car community's perspective and the government's point of view. Because not a lot of people, especially in the car community, they usually look at it as in their perspective, as the car community's perspective, not really much in the government's perspective. Now, um, the car community's perspective is is very is simple. Like, why would you um, do this? Like, I mean, some some of these cars are loud. Even a Hellcat is loud. I've I've I've, I've, I've been to car meets before, and I've I heard a Hellcat rev up, and that thing is loud. Believe me, it's loud. And I mean. <laughs> There's nothing you could do with this. It has that meaty V8 sound, like coming out of that exhaust tips. But um, and now here it is with you know here, the law. Now you can't drive a Hellcat with a with a you know modified exhaust to hear that that meaty V8 sound. Uh, but I mean, I'm not just talking about a Hellcat. It could be any car with a big muffler and that can cause a lot of noise, utter over 30, 95 decibels. But what I'm trying to say here is that the car community is like really disgusted when they when they saw this. Even non-California residents, um, basically people outside California, like Arizona, Oregon, Washington, Utah, and so on and so forth. Um, even U.S. residents in general, they think this is a ridiculous um, 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 law that California passed. I'm talking about the car community here, but. That's the car. That's where the car community's perspective ends uh, for me. Now I'm going to the government's perspective here real quick. Now, in the government's perspective, the reason why that they're doing this is, is to prevent people from street racing, and and you know, street racing is illegal uh, unless if it's a, a close course uh, in the streets like Long Beach, um, the circuit of Long Beach. But here, here's the thing. The, the reason why the government is doing this is they're trying to uh, reduce the amount of street racing that's been going on, especially here in California, especially where I live. I lived in, um, back around 2011 all the way to 2018. I lived in Los Angeles, and I'm every time I'm, I'm not my house is not far from a freeway, and I always hear um, loud V8s and 350Zs and or whatever. I hear loud engine noises coming. On the freeways of them street racing, I can tell that they're street racing. And then now, where I live here in, in the San Francisco Bay Area, I'm hearing right outside my house. I'm hearing cars doing donuts, and and I hear I can tell one of them was a Subaru because uh, I can hear I can hear the the boxer four engine, the flat four engine uh, revving like it was freaking loud. I'm like. I'm trying to sleep here. Why do I need to hear this? I know it has a nice sound, but I do not want to hear this in the middle of the night. So, um, that's why the government is doing this to prevent any street racing or also uh, all those dangerous acts of people doing donuts in the middle, right in the middle of a crowd that's been that's surrounding the whole car doing the, the maneuvers, and people are causing deaths. I mean, those those stupid drivers are causing deaths. They're causing everything, like all the stupidity. It's uh, risking other people's lives. Now, and I can see why they're doing this. Why the government is doing this is to prevent anything from illegal street racing and any sort of illegal acts with their cars. And but also, I'm going back to the cars community, uh, car community here, uh, real quick. Now, the gov I do get the government's perspective on why they're doing this, but also in the car community, like, they're also saying, why punish all people because one person did it? Why would you do that? It doesn't make sense, right? But like I said, the government does have a point, though. But also in the car community, they also do have a point. They, even I've seen a video of... 
on this on YouTube. They also said this. Why would you punish an entire group of people for one person or two people doing something stupid? Uh, especially in their motor vehicle, like doing donuts, doing street racing, or anything like that. Like, why? Why would you punish an entire group of people for, for something that they didn't do that two people or one person did? That's just like kindergarten or even elementary school. They punish... They punish an entire group of children in the classroom for having one kid doing something stupid. Yeah! Back when I was a kid, I hated that. Honestly, I did. But, I mean, but like I said, the government does have a point that they're doing this and just to prevent street racing, and I get that. I personally don't like street racing. I believe it's, I think it's, well, actually, no, I don't think, I know it's dangerous. Even even professional racing is dangerous, but street racing is even more dangerous than than uh than track racing because in street racing not everybody is going 100 miles an hour on the freeway and they're driving like 60 or even around 60 or 70 and and, you, and then next thing you know this car traveling 100 miles an hour is going to crash into a crash into a car that's traveling at 60 miles an hour okay but anyways like i said the government does have a point to, to prevent street racing, but also the car community does have a point too. Not everybody street races, even though they have the nicest, loudest sports car, or muscle car, or supercar out there in the garage. But like I said, not everybody street races, and you cannot blame an entire group of people just because one person did it. Alright? So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys want to see the California Bureau of Automotive Repair, I will link that in the description below. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys again soon.